Okay, we are live right here at Dope Boy Television Worldwide. Hi. And I am here with Lady Lana. Hey, everybody. And she is a great artist, an upcoming artist. Here. Lana, yes. the beautiful Lana, is about to perform soon. Could you tell us a little bit about what you're about to do? Today? Sure. So, basically, this is my first coming out. This is my first performing performance as an artist. So, I'm super freaking excited. Can I cuss? Can I cuss? Can I cuss? Can I cuss? Please cuss. <laughs> I'm super fucking excited. <laughs> this is my best performance as an artist. Today we're debuting my single, It's a Lick, which is available on all social, like all platforms, all streaming platforms, social media platforms, you name it, just type in Lana J and you'll get to it. Um, I'm excited, shout out to Doughboy for, for filming my first performance, and shout out to you for interviewing me. This is a special moment, you guys. Okay, so tell us where you're from. I am from, Okay, so we're gonna say Chicago because that kind of sums it up. But I was born in Gary. I grew up in Indiana. I moved to Chicago. So like Indiana raised me, Chicago made me. Okay. I moved to Chicago. That's when I got started in my career, started moving around. And they Chicago taught me a lot of life lessons. Okay. So <laughs> what are some of those lessons you learned uh, as an artist? Let's see, as an artist, understanding your identity, understanding marketing, and Understanding like it's okay to ride your own wave and it goes and like literally go against the grain, regardless of everybody like pitches in at first. Because if you keep going, you keep going. Eventually, everybody else is going to move and ride the way to ride. It. You just have to have persistence right. and determination. So it's the one thing that I learned. Like regardless of what I do, just keep going, keep going, keep going. And everyone's gonna get the picture eventually. So right. So who were some of your peers and people so, who gave you the inspiration to pursue? Coming to pursue my career in music, I would have to say Ghost for Sound Kings Entertainment, Elle, Casanova, Cassandra. I so many people that I worked with that kind of knew over time, like saw that I had this ability and they're the ones that just like really pushed it. Like I really think that you need to just put this out there and pursue a career in music. And that's what I started doing and I just received like an influx of support and love and for that I'm just a creature I just I'm still with gratitude. Because I I'm still astonished at the reaction. So you should be filled with gratitude. So, could you tell us who are some of the artists and legends you've worked with so far? So, musically, I haven't um, worked with anybody because I'm not really sure who I want to feature just yet. But as far as other careers, Kevin Costner, Boris Pujo, um, I worked with Uzi, Lucci, Flies, K. Michelle, Gucci. I'm, the list goes on. <laughs> I'm seasoned, but music is a whole different venture, so stay tuned. Alright, um, so could you tell us a little bit about your radio? So I started um, in radio, Raw TV Radio 92.3 as a personality with them for several years, for a while actually. And um, from there, you know, I got to establish a lot of great things, hosting major events, working with different magazines, and led me to work in like the Grammys, the Oscars, uh, working with Hip Hop Weekly. I mean, like the list goes on, but it definitely taught me to look and appreciate music in a different way and not to take it so personally. Because even though it's our passion, it's our art, it's still a business. And we still have to be able to market and sell something. At the end of the day, if I'll offer the checks I want to make, we gotta make sure this shit is for everybody. So, I mean, shout out to everybody over there. Um, you guys believed in me when I didn't really have a name. And I'm always grateful for that. So, for people who are walking in your footsteps, what type of inspiration would you give them? Yourself. Um, that's the only inspiration I really had. And I don't want that to sound like cliche, but at the end of the day, you really can't follow anybody else's path. Like, you can look at Oprah, you can see what she did, but the odds of your path being exactly like hers are infinite, right? So, you really have to just, like, figure out yourself and understand who you are and just walk in that path. That's what I did. Like, I just understood who I was, and whatever falls in that category, I'm going to roll with it. So that would be my advice. Like, allow yourself the, the finished product of who you see yourself to be. Let that be your inspiration versus who you are right now. Um, how long have you been doing music? I've been doing music secretively for a while. Uh, several years, but I have officially came out this year in 2018. So we're, we're, we're new. We'll say like a few months. We just started kind of releasing things, but as far as like writing and things like that, I'm 
say probably eight years. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, could you tell the people and the viewers um, how we can find you again? Sure. So you can find me on all social media: Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, all that great stuff at official underscore Lana J L A N A J. When you go to SoundCloud, YouTube, all you have to type in is Lana J. And also, I want to thank you guys for interviewing me. Shout out to Doughboy. And shout out to. Lady G. Lady G. <laughs> shout, out to Dope, shout out to Dope Boy. Shout out to Lady G. Thank you guys so much for bringing me in this interview and allowing me to be a part of what you guys got going on. Make sure you check her out because we have an inspiring television personality as well. Namaste. Namaste. So you guys just stay tuned. We got great stuff. Shout out to y'all and just keep networking. Keep keeping the best. And we're out. We're out. All my bitches with the shits, we wear all black and matching fits. Got that black scully with the black shirt.